Hey guys, Han Yellow here, back at it with another beer video. And this time, I'm doing something different, something that other beer YouTubers have done already, but I have not, so I guess it's my turn to do it. Um, it is comparing two of the same beers that are at different uh, lifespans, I suppose. So one is, um, I think, I'm pretty sure it's been at least, for sure, at least six months. I think it's around eight, maybe nine months old. And then the other is, I just picked it up today. Um, so they are even more Jesus by Evil Twin Brewing and Imperial Stout at I think 12% ABV. Yep, 12% right there. And I've done a video about even more Jesus before. I think it's one of my first videos. I just rewatched it just to see what my thoughts were back then and uh, see what they are now compared to you know one that's about eight-ish months old and then um, one that's like fresh. So. I've been looking at the bottom of these cans and I did not see a date at all. They go by batch number. So the older one is batch number nine there. If you can see it on the camera. And then this one that I picked up today is batch number 14. So they're uh, five batches apart. I'm not sure if that'll make a difference. Um, I know that these aren't made to be, you know, aged, but I kind of just bought this or yeah, this one and just thought that you know i was gonna drink it and i never did and then it went on to be like five or six months old and i'm like oh maybe i'll just let it sit a little longer and i'll do a video comparing you know a fresh one and a not not so fresh one so um i don't really have a way of doing this um i'm just gonna pour it into identical glasses um these these glasses right here they're exactly the same there's nothing different about them um, and then I'm just gonna like mix them around without looking I suppose I don't know how to do it um, I have no reason to you know lie about it or anything if I get it wrong if I guess that you know one is you know the older one and one the other one is the fresher one I get it wrong I'm still gonna post it there's like no shame in that at all for sure I have no reason to lie about it so I'm just gonna pour it into a glass and uh, mix it around a little and see if I can tell the difference all right so and by the way the cans um, they're pretty much exactly the same. I did notice that the, let's see, batch 14 is this one and batch 9 is this one. So this one, the text is slightly less gold. Um, it has like a more silvery gold coloring to it, I guess. And then this one is like a lot more gold. Not sure if uh, you can, guys can tell the difference there in the camera, but just some subtle differences that I noticed. So let's get these into the glass. Um, this is batch number nine. I mean, these have been sitting out for probably 10 minutes or so. Um, they were just sitting out while I was doing my sneaker video. Oh, there we go. It's gushing a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Pour this into a glass. Um, I'm just going to pour it to, I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe the four ounce line. Let's see here. There we go. Just a little more. Oop. And this one is the batch 14 one. Pretty excited. I haven't had this one since actually the video, I think, the last video I made about it. So, pretty excited to revisit this beer and definitely gonna drink both cans. Um, uh, let's pull the batch 14 in. Damn it, I spilled. Uh, that's about four ounces. And it's gonna drip. Oh, damn. At least it dripped on the table, I guess. All right, so let's get into the smell. But first, I gotta, you know, I'm trying not to look. I don't know. I'm trying not to spill the. Wait, I can find these back. All right, I'm trying not to look. I'm not looking at the screen down there or anything. I'm not. I'm not looking at all. I don't know if this is a big deal to you guys at all, but. I guarantee you, I am not looking, I'm not counting, I'm talking the entire time, I'm not counting. Um, I absolutely do not know which one is which. So let's uh, start with the color, I mean there's not a whole lot that I'm going to be able to describe. Let's just assume that they're both the same color, both black, um, with like mocha head. So I don't know which one this is, so let's uh, stick our nose into this one. Sweet. Um, kind of smells like uh, molasses and kind of like dark fruits, I suppose. 
Mm. Smells, I don't know if you can smell carbonation. I'm sure you can't, but it smells, I don't know how to describe it. it smells carbonated? I, I don't know. Definitely get a lot of molasses, dark chocolate, not so much coffee though. And vanilla, I get a lot of vanilla in this one too. Mm, that's about it. So molasses, coffee, did I say coffee? No, no, no coffee. Not, I don't think I get any coffee in this. So it's vanilla, molasses, and uh, dark chocolate. Yep, and carbonation. All right, get into this one. Let's see here, give it a good swirl. Hmm, I think, I think I know which one this is now. The smell is really, really muted. Like, I have to search for it. Something's coming out, but like it's pretty muted. But I get vanilla, um, slight sweet smell of like molasses. Having a hard time smelling it. Yeah, just molasses and vanilla, I guess, and maybe slight chocolate. But before we even taste it, I'm gonna assume that this one is the uh, older one of the two. And I just realized that I didn't mark any of the glasses, so I can't, I don't know which one is which. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back um, into the video, look at my hands, make sure that I can tell which one is the older one, and like go back here and record my uh, findings after I, oh damn. <laughs> uh, shoot, okay, well. I'm gonna assume that this one is the older one of the two, so cheers. That was kind of weird. I expected more. Okay, so you get sweetness. It's not super sweet. You get dark chocolate on the finish, you get coffee bitterness, you get the vanilla, the mouth feels solid, it's super thick, just like how it should be. Yeah, just dark chocolate, molasses, and vanilla. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot of like alcohol burn or anything, it's just, it's pretty good still. Um, let's move on to this one, which this one, I think, is the fresher one of the two. This one's... I would be very, very surprised if this is not the fresher of the two. It even tastes fresher. Like, it's more flavorful. Like, it's more lively, I suppose. Like, you can taste more in your palate. And it's, like, the mouth feels not better, too. It's thicker. It's more decadent. Um, I'm getting some dark fruits, a little bit of raisin, definitely more alcohol burn on this one than the last one. Um, it just coats your entire mouth, like the other one was thick, but this one's like thick and it just like coats your entire mouth and like this fudgy like sludge thickness of, of a beer and it sounds gross but it's freaking awesome. Definitely more dark chocolate, getting some uh, alcohol burn up front and in the back on the finish there. Um, still not so much coffee. I mean, I get some coffee in the end, but it kind of blends in with the dark chocolate. So it's kind of hard to tell if it's like the dark chocolate that's making it bitter or is it like that coffee bitter taste. But overall, both are freaking good. Uh, definitely I prefer drinking the fresher one just because of that incredible mouthfeel that it has like it just coats your entire mouth and just and that slight alcohol burn makes it you know it makes it great oh yeah i'm gonna go with this one is the uh the fresher one of the two and the other one this one is the eight month old one but i cannot tell you now because I was being dumb, totally forgot about marking the glass or something, you know, 
some way that I can tell which beer is which. So I'm gonna have to go edit this video, figure out which one it is. Actually, not even edit. I'll just watch it. I don't know why I thought I had to edit it. I'm just gonna go watch it, um, see which which one is which. Hopefully, I can tell in the uh, video. Hopefully, I wasn't blocking too much of the glasses where I cannot tell. And then I'll come back and I'll tell you. Um, I have no reason to lie. So. I mean that kind of ruined the whole like oh I'm not gonna look I'll shuffle it around thing because now if I look and I'm like oh shoot I'm wrong I'm just gonna tell them I'm right no I'm not gonna do that at all I promise I won't I have no reason to so I, that's what I'm gonna do now and uh, I'll be right back all right guys so I'm back I watched the video like four or five times to make sure I got the right one and this one is the eighth month old one and this one is the one that i said the smell was muted and the flavors were like there but they weren't um up to par as this one is i suppose this one had the smell like it smelled carbonated i think is what i said and it coats your entire mouth with this like super thick decadent fudgy sludgy kind of like coating of beer and like it has an alcohol burn yeah so i was right i mean that was pretty easy to uh identify though because what was lacking in pretty much smell and flavor which is you know the primary things that you want out of a beer and the other one was just dancing around the older one like it was nothing so obviously you can totally tell which one it is um and i think the reason for that too is because they're not made to be aged they're not meant to be aged they weren't bourbon barreled uh aged beers so like beers like that beers that are not meant to be aged i think the flavor not i not i think i know for a fact the flavor falls off because it's not made meant to be aged and so as time goes on you know flavor falls off but even then for being about eight months old um, the even more Jesus, the older can actually held up pretty decent. Like it tasted pretty good. Like if no, if I've never tasted even more Jesus before, and someone just get handed me a can, it was like let's say a year old or whatever. I, I would still think it's a pretty good beer. Like I wouldn't think that it's great, but I would think it's pretty good. It's pretty solid still. So with that said, man, um, pretty easy video or pretty easy to tell between the two. Like I just mentioned. Um, thank you for watching definitely a different type of video for me and it's really long <laughs> I'm gonna try to shorten it as much as possible but leave enough content so that there's enough context I suppose but um yeah thank you for watching um, I think this is the older one that's a new one I'm just gonna mix them together here um, any comments leave them below hit the subscribe button if you uh, enjoyed the video and hit the like button as well And as always dream big dreams and believe all things possible. Thank you for watching